Lucy. No, Stephen. You have no option. Well, I'm not going to oblige her. You could take over every pity that she has. Which is how much? Her jewel, Stephen. It's not just the money, Lizzie, you know that. I know. It's your own good name. I know. And you had plenty of witnesses. So half the village was there. Yeah. Including two members of the guard, is your corner. Who didn't lift a finger to help me. I know, that was disgrace. I'm hated in this place, Stephen. And it's very hurt. Well, this is your chance to prove yourself. To prove myself? What? The way it is, Lizzie, if you don't take her to court, the people around here are going to start believing her allegations. But they're at the surge. Uh, that's as maybe. You don't believe them, do you? That's not the point, Lizzie. Stephen, you don't believe I had anything to do with the murder of my own son. The way I see it, Lizzie, it has to be the tickers. Exactly. But you need your day in court to prove yourself. I'll think about it. Good. Oh God, the, the questions they asked. Desperate invasion of privacy. <laughs> That's what being means tested means. Anyway, it doesn't look good, does it? Well, there's no place in the local crash. What they're giving me isn't enough to keep a child minder, Leonardo. No. I mean, that's what I'll need if I'm going to do my leaving, sirs. I know, I know. I know you know. Catherine. Well, don't give me that I told you so stuff. I wasn't going to. Now look, it was never going to be easy. No. However, all is not lost. No? No. There are what they call youth reach schemes, which are especially designed for young people in your situation. Yeah? Mm. Ah, Biddy! You're a visitor. Ah! Not a paying customer, I'm afraid. How are you, Nessa? Listen, did you hear from Lizzie's solicitor yet? No, and I won't either. And do you think, do you think she's going to sue? Ah, she won't, Miley. But like, if she doesn't, sure, it's, it's just like an admission of guilt. Not to the community, but not to the law. I don't know, Nessa. I think she just might be brazen enough to take you to court. Well, I hope she does, Biddy. And so do the guards, I'd say. So, what are you up to? Nothing, just drawing the dole. Well, now I'd say you'd find it hard enough to get anything to do with. Well, I've no intention of moving anywhere else. Have you not? Oh, no. I still have unfinished business here. Well, what are you doing with those? You're all chucking them out. They're off. Mm, I suppose you must have ordered too many. Well, you know the rest of Terre's golden rule. When in doubt, chuck out. I suppose so. What's it looking like? Mm -hmm. The figures? Oh, not great, to be honest. Oh, dear. Do you know something? I really don't understand it. Like, we should be doing better in the summer than the winter. Well, standards haven't dropped. Oh, I know. Must be the business end. Oh, no, I think you're managing extremely well, Mary. Yeah, well, the figures don't bear that out. Well, we can't work any harder. No, indeed. No, do you know something, Morris? Hmm? I think you could do with a break. A break? A holiday. You haven't been away all year. Ah, not at all. I'm grand. Well, you're going to have to go away for at least a week sometime. For a whole week? But where would I go? Well, anywhere you like. And how would you manage? I suppose we'd have to close. Well, closing down the restaurant for a week would be very bad for business. Yeah, well, trying to find somebody of your talent to take over would be impossible. You're too kind. It's going to be odd, though, having someone else looking after him during the day, isn't it? How do you mean? Well, when you go back to school. I'm not going back to school, Joseph. Of course you're going back to school. I can't afford it. What do you mean? Shirley Manning was telling me about her youth reach scheme in Bray. I'd get an extra allowance and free crash facility. That's great. But I'll only get to do one or two subjects. Oh. I mean, it's good, like. It's targeted at young mums like me who've dropped out of the system. But I had my heart set in doing the full leaving. And you must, Catherine. You must. Sure, you'll get to university and everything. And you're one of the brightest in the class. I can't afford it, that's all. Well, then I'll get a job at weekends and that, to pay for the child minder. And what would you get? 20 quid a week, maybe. That wouldn't do for me, Joseph. No. I hear Father Tracy is organising an alcohol-free party for the junior search results this year. I heard about that online. Good idea. 
you think it was just about Catherine? Is that what you think? Yes, Joseph, that's what I think. So how are your own studies going anyway? So I didn't go for the idea of a holiday? No. Oh, that's Morris for you. Works till he drops. That's exactly what I'm afraid of, Miley. And getting somebody to step into the breach won't be easy, does he know anything? Well, he says he doesn't. Better start looking so. Um, I have a suggestion. Oh, what's that, Miley? Um, couldn't you train somebody? But should this would take ages. And cost a fortune. Mm, it wouldn't have to. How? Well, just think about it. What? Isn't he training somebody already? Huh? Who? Me. You? I've been giving him a handout and I've been picking up a few things. You want to train as a chef? Oh, no, not a chef exactly, but you... But what? But, but, well, didn't you train at the computer, didn't you? Yeah, well, what has computers got to do with it? Well, that's the way we have to be these days. Learn and diversify. Diversify? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a very difficult job, Miley. Sure, I know that. Haven't I seen it? And at close quarters. Yeah, and very specialised. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just the thought of you in one of those hats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, has uh, Lucy been in? Sorry, go on. No, please go. Uh, no, uh, Lucy has not been in, and no, Finbar's not on. Right. <laughs> what can I get you? Um, yeah. oh, just a coffee, please, TC. I'll have my usual TC, and I'll be. Uh... Yeah, we'll drop it over Thank to you. Thank you. Vodka tonic there, Michelle. No ice. Mm. Come on up. Oh, Finbar had a day off. Took the opportunity to get in a game of golf. Good for him. You wanted to see him on some millennium business, I suppose. Yeah. Picking up a lot of your time? The millennium business, oh, I mean. Certainly has. But not for much longer. Oh. No, no. Once the um, false team is in place, then they'll be taking over. Right. We're hoping to advertise for a team leader soon. Well, I don't think Finn Bard have time. <laughs> no, we're looking for somebody who's mature and well-educated with a good local knowledge. Uh, someone more like Tim Devereaux. Yeah. Have you uh, spoken to him about it? Not yet, but I will. <laughs> Father Tracy won't like that. Sorry? Offering the job to Tim. Well, Father Tracy is only one vote. We should be interesting. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen him around. A who? Tim. Oh, right. Well, give him my regards, won't you? If you see him. I'll do that. Lucy, what can I get you? Just a coffee, thanks. Right. TZ, can I have a coffee, please? A large tonic and a small vodka. A large vodka and a small vodka? And a coffee. No ice. Thank you. Thank you. Stephen, have you seen Lizzie O'Driscoll lately? I was talking to her earlier the day. Well? Huh? Dennis. What? Is she going to sue? I'm not at liberty to discuss a matter that might become some judicy. Ah, uh, so she is going to sue. I never said that. If she doesn't sue, you know what that means. Oh, what can I get you, Lizzie? A vodka and orange. Thank you, Steve. Right. Make it easy. There you are, David. Thank you. <coughs> Would you say there, hmm? You know. What? Having an affair. That's what I heard. Where did you hear? Yeah. Reliable source. God, that's desperate. I'll tell you one thing. What's that? They are having an affair. Can't be up to much, Michelle. God, I've forgotten your man's punch. Yeah. Oh, there you are, Detective Murray. Sorry for the delay. Not at all, ma'am. Thanks. Was that Mrs. O'Driscoll I heard just now? Yeah, Lizzie O'Driscoll. Pity about that incident the other night. In Isn't your surgery at three o'clock? No, five thirty. I thought it was three. Five thirty, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three, Tuesday, Thursday. But today is Tuesday. Exactly, five thirty. David. What? How many of those have you had? Sorry. 
Are you all right? Spare me that, Lucy. Spare me the interrogation about my intake. Spare me that crap, please. You all right, love? Yeah. God. Yeah. He's in a bad way. Been on the downward slope since Vidalma left. Don't know what I can do for him, Daisy. You've known her a long while, haven't you? Yeah, sort of. Down away at the moment? Yes. This is a small place. People talk. Oh? Look, tell me to mind my own business if you like. No. Thanks, Daisy. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, there you are, Mr. Driscoll. Oh, Inspector Murray. A terrible business that the other night. Yes. Oh, stop. She had a fierce go at you, huh? You should have stopped her. Very now, like, but there was nothing we could do. No. Well, you see, she wasn't doing anything illegal. I mean, if you want to pursue it yourself, well, that's... Anyway. I'd better head. Oh, listen, um... What? What was I going to say to you? Oh, yes. Uh, will you be round in the morning? How do you mean? Up at the farm. Why? Just a few things I want to go over with you. Again? Just a few things. Won't take a sec. Right. See you then, so. Well, maybe sometime in October. That's quite enough month. Good. But honestly, Miley, I don't really think you'd be ready to take over by then. Oh, do you think not? Well, we'll see, but it is a bit ambitious. What's your vegetarian special tonight, Barry? Nut roast. Yummy. I'll keep you some. Thanks. <laughs> right, listen, I'd best get back to it. Uh, are you going out tonight? I think so. Why? Well, Morris and I might go for a drink if we've time. Oh, yeah, it's no problem. Okay, bye. Okay, see, see you. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. bye. Oh, now, we have an appointment in Bray next Monday, yeah, remember? Right. What? Not nush. You know Debbie Burke? Yeah. Her parents are after splitting up. Oh, that's dreadful. She's not the only one. Oh? Ray McCabe's too. Oh, well, things like that happen. Orla Scanlon's as well. That's just too bad. Listen, you're not worried about the same thing happening between us, are you? I suppose not. Because, you see, that's why we're going to Bray. We're going to a counsellor who's going to help us sort things out. That's good. That's very good. I'm in here. Um, I'm just, uh, you know, getting myself together. Are you all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fine. I was worried about you. Well, sorry for storm. Uh, I'm just, well, <laughs> finding things a bit difficult at the moment. Yeah. I was completely out of order, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, look, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I think you should cancel your surgery. Today. Yeah, yeah, I have done, I have done. I, I got a locum in. Good. And I, I appreciate your help. You've been, well, you've been very good. Yeah, well, look, I'm not going to be able to. What I mean is, I'm going to have to be a bit careful. I'm sorry? People are starting to talk. Oh. I see. I see. Well, Dan is a lucky man. Well. A very lucky man, in fact. You're a lucky couple. But no... What? But no children, no. No. Well, as a matter of fact... I miss Cormac so much. You have no idea, I just... I just miss him so much. Yeah. And he wasn't even mine. I wanted children, you know. Desperately wanted them, and, and we were going to have one. We were. But she, um... She... <sighs> anyway. Yeah. I just... Just wanted a child. That's not too much to ask. Is it? Well, you could at least have consulted me. Why? Because I didn't want the girls to know. It's better to have these things out in the open. Yeah, but... It's healthier. Look at Every time we go back now for an appointment, they'll be quizzing us. If we go back there. 
do you mean if? Well, you know. What are you saying? I just found the whole thing very uncomfortable, to be honest. Well, it was no picnic for me either, Miley. Yeah, but like having your whole life discussed in front of a stranger. But you're, that's how these things work. We yeah. haven't been able to sort it out for ourselves. Maybe so, but... And sort it out we must, don't you think? Well, I just felt I was being put on trial. And I've been feeling that that's the way these counselling sessions are going to be, me being put on trial for my crime. Well, you were the one who stepped out of line. I know, I know, and I've apologised often enough, God knows. And if you can accept that, well, I, then I... Well, then what? Ah, well, then, then, then... Look, we might as well fill out them forms for the hedge papers. We've put it off long enough now. <sighs> Who are you expecting? Sorry, Steve. You've been staring at that door all day. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. There you are now. Uh, we're not too late, are we, Michelle? No, you've just made it. Oh, good. Two white wines, please. I'll get these. No, 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 I have it. All right. Farmyard busy tonight? Ah, quiet enough, Michelle. Ah, it was okay. Thanks. So, when are you going to set the date? Hmm? For your holiday. You're pretty determined about this, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, I'm not so sure. Well, early October, I think, before the weather gets cold. We'll see. What's your problem? Well... I think a week's holiday on my own would be worse than work. But you must have some friends. No, actually, I don't. For us? No, I've always wanted them, but they never kind of took to me. Social grace is just not my strong point. Ah, no, Morris. Mm. Whoever he is, he's not coming. What are you talking about, Stephen? You're staring at the door again. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Are you all dressed up? I'm not. Well, you've shaved and changed. I'm going out. It's a bit late. You won't get a pint now. Just fancy a walk. A walk? Yeah. In the dark night? I'm not afraid. Well, don't be late. Huh? You've got work in the morning. <laughs> Cheeky. Thanks a million. Good night. Yeah, I'll be in touch. Okay. So, can I get you anything? No, no, no grand. Tea or coffee? No, thanks, honestly. No beer, I'm afraid. Ah, that's okay. You missed your pint? Working late. No, not again. Uh, someone didn't turn up. It's going to be okay, though, isn't it? It's, um... Okay. Good. So? Hmm? I haven't seen you since, uh... Since... Since... The christening party. And you've been... You okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Look, I hope you didn't think... You didn't mind, you know... Right. So, Michelle. That's what they call me. Well, it seemed to go well, though. The oh. christening and the party yeah. and... Yeah. Apart from me sitting on the... <laughs> and that ridiculous phone call. Oh. <laughs> Bad timing, all oh, right. Well, that's Colette for you. She lives in Memphis. With a chap, fella. She's in a relationship. We should, um, I mean, we will be getting divorced soon. Mm, yeah, I should be thinking of the same thing myself. Yeah. From Kevin. Oh, right. That's James's father. Ricky's father's Matt, and that's Dick Moran's son. The two loves of your life? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Till now. Till now? Bye. 
bad dream, I'd say. Probably. I should be going anyway. Yeah. Yes. I'll see you soon, though. Thanks for seeing me home. Yeah, I did. Do you know how much they got for it? No. Two and a half million. Oh, what do you got? Imagine that, Maggie. Two and a half million pounds. I tell you, that's something all right, huh? Something about the same size as ours in this landlocked. Yeah, true. It's worth thinking about. What? Seven up? Maybe. But this joke is silly. Like you mean to say. <laughs> it would cost just as much to buy another farm, wouldn't it? That kind of money, Miley, we wouldn't have to buy another farm. But, like, that's what we do is farming. Like, that's, that's exactly what we do. Like, that's, that's what we are. Hey, Miley. Oh. Uh, hi, Betty. Miley, uh, are you coming up to me? Oh, um, right, yeah. I'll be up shortly. Oh, OK. Uh, I said I'd give my hand to the kitchen. Oh, right. Well, listen, I'll see you, so. Right. Right, good luck. Come back. Now, Miley, you see, I've got the yolks in my bowl and you've got the whites in yours. Now, yep. I whisk this until it's thick and pale and you whisk that until it's stiff, right? Mm -hmm. Right, and then uh, we'll lash in some vinegar? Uh, just, just, just a little dash. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, and what about... Uh, 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 this one, over this one. Oh, OK, that's right. Now, now we're ready to make that. The, 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 the roulade. Roulade, that's right. the fella, right. <laughs> oh, no, Miley, Miley, hold on a sec. Well, you don't have to put your whole arm and shoulder into it. Yeah. It's just a small movement of the wrist and the fingers. Oh, right, OK. I see, you're kind of, kind of like milk to the cow. Well, I suppose so. Yeah. God help the cow. Ah, Mrs O'Driscoll. Glad I caught you. Right. What's that for? Nuts. Go away. God, it's a massive big yoke, isn't it? Yeah. Mind you, this is an enormous operation you have here. How do you manage it at all? I have a very good farm manager. Have you? Great. Well, I hope you have better luck with him than you had with the last one. He's a Is he? Good, good. Now, where are we? Ah, yes. Now, there are two things I want to check with you. OK. First, can you tell me again the time the two lads left for the airport? About half six. 6.30. And it was dark? Of course it was. It was the middle of winter. And you'd finished the milking? Yes. And that was on... Uh, Friday. The 1st of January. God, you're a great woman for remembering dates, Lizzie. It was New Year's Day, Inspector. Right. That's grand, so. Right. Now, two. There was two. What was... What was... Uh, yes. Now, you always seem certain that your son was killed coming back from the airport and not on his way to the airport. Yes. Why did you think that? Because he rang me from the airport. <sighs> On his mobile. No. I told you. He left that here. Of course he did. Of course he did. Shall I have it here? That's it. Thanks. I don't understand how you think you're going to get anywhere asking me the same bloody questions over and over again. It seems to me you've made no progress whatsoever. I can understand your concern, Lizzie. But that may all change very quickly. A good news for you. Your son's murder is to be featured on Crime Line. 